Hello folks, it's Dean from uh, the Dungeons and Dragons uh, playlist and I did a video on uh, finding the Grim Disturbance or what it looks like to see the Grim Disturbance um, incident, rare incident in King's Forest and so this one's going to be actually about finding it and so you can see I'm an evening star here and um, yeah, there's the King's Forest entrance. So I'm just going in. So you don't need to have a group set up right now, but if you uh, do want to get a like a five or six person group to help you find it, um, each one separately should seek it out and then uh, message the other when it's found so that you can maximize uh, the time that you guys spend but it's uh, hard for me to find uh, people to join right now so I'm just gonna do this on my own and show you guys and once you find it then it'll be easy to get people to join but uh, so this is the beginning of Kings for us I'm gonna get my hireling here and my horse. I don't really need the higher lane. I don't know why that did that, but here's the horse. And you want this for speed because you're going to have to cover a lot of ground. I'll show you the path to um, best search for the Grim Disturbance incidents. All right, so you just make a left here and don't want to fight anybody. She just would delay the finding of the grim. Uh, oh, where are we going? There we go. The chat room just said I was failed to join in it, so I was paying attention to that. Where am I going? I'm going to pass up this town here, which is kind of south, south um, west of the entrance. And then take this river bed, whoops, this dried up river bed here to the swampish area. And here's a couple of spots that might proc around the swamp. The first one is over here. I've had it procked here a few times. Cross this river. And you really gotta keep a lookout on your map so you can see if it is there before you trigger the wizard to fight. Because otherwise um, you might have to start the Grim Disturbance quest then. Okay, it's not here. And I can't see, let me move the uh, map because the video is over the map. So I can't see it. All right, now I can see it if it procs up. So the next place you want to look is this tented area by the main river. And it procs around down there, I believe, somewhere. But it's not there. So we'll go up to past the log, past the temple, so these are landmarks you can use to kind of guide yourself. Uh, let's see, something. There was a random occurrence of something over there. Um, yeah, maybe I should do it. Maybe this should be a video about random occurrences as well, because uh, a lot of these do proc up where Grim procs. What is this? Speak to the head war wizard. Good lord, I don't see him. <laughs> oh, he's down here somewhere. Oh, get, get out of this saddle situation. So what do they want me to do here? Oh, 
They want me to go into the Underdark <laughs> and explore. Oh, they're returning. Okay, we evidently gotta fight something. So, there are a number of rare occurrence uh, instances in this forest. This is just one of 20 or 40, I think. And that was pretty easy. Slain. Oh, well. Okay, oh, that was... That was the, um... Just the White Wilderness Slayer bonus. And there's the Wilderness Slayer bonus again. But this quest, it just seems like they're coming out of the portal, probably um, not for long, like Grim Disturbance. Let's see, it ended. And then you get your um, Core Mirror envelope of achievement or whatever as well. And we'll continue to search for the Grim. So, up this way. I kind of have it memorized because there's like a little slant up here that triggers my memory. Why isn't my horse going? Ah, because I'm firing. I had auto fire on, that's why. So you kind of want to stay on this... Um, What's it called? Plateau? Ridge? As long as you can. And then you see this big log, that's another big marker. Just try to stay to the right of it. Because we're going to encounter a few spots this way. Two before we get to the next spot area. So I actually got to check the map at times, because it's easy to forget them. Where are we? I'm not really sure where we are now. That road messed me up. So yeah, you might have to run this a few times to get the spots narrowed down and you'll be able to tell them because there'll be another rare occurrence in those spot if not the grim one or it'll just be blank but um, eventually you'll find some that uh, are filled look at the map again oh there's one right there Let's see what it is trapped Okay, let's go to Trapped and see what that's about. Help the Trap Fox. Well, I don't see it being trapped. How am I supposed to help him? All I can do in this game is kill. There's a whole bunch of foxes over here. Am I supposed to kill it? Well, I don't know if I uh, accomplished that or not. I don't think I did. If you accomplish a uh, rare, it'll tell you. Well, let's continue. This is probably one of the spots. I'm a little bit too far to the west, so I'm going to head back this way. Because there's another one right next to it. In line, directly south. Where'd it go? It disappeared. Okay. 
I'm, this this is unfamiliar territory now because I'm kind of messed up. Let me check the map again. I'm kind of messed up in my bearings because I um, this is my first run on this life, and there's the Underdark. Okay, we're way too far west, so we missed the two runs. They're up here somewhere, but we could go back to it. But yeah, we need to go east. Around this mountainous area. Looks like we're gonna hit the dirt underground area of the uh, Underdark entrance right now. You can tell it's all barren here. And there's two or three spots to proc at this area for the Grim. One of them, I think, is up this way. And I don't think there is it. Another one is over this way, kind of north, northest, west, westest. And usually it'll tell us on our map if we've encountered any spot. So there's no spot. So if you don't know where they are, I just kind of know the general areas. Um, you kind of gonna just kind of comb through all the um, browned out soiled areas here because that's where you'll find these uh, rares proking here where the grim is a part of that yeah there it is yes got lucky you guys this is not sometimes it takes 45 minutes to an hour to find this all right so it's over there. I'm, I'm at a safe distance. I can put up an LFM right now. So let's back up a little bit. And you can tell this is where it is in, in relation to the Underdark entrance. It's quite north and uh, east of it. I actually never saw it proc here before. But uh, so, like I said, there are a few spots that it does come up in, in this dirt area. All right, let's put up our LFM. You just push O, grouping, and you want to make it pleasant, so, um, found, grim, disturbance, in, King's Forest, come get, easy, slayer, experience. Endless So you want to make your ad kind of appealing <laughs> So that's that's why I'm kind of like spending some time with that because for some reason uh the Dungeons and Dragons um, membership is not as vibrant as some of the newer video games. So, so let's see. It's about five thirty-seven right now. Let's see how long it takes to get this group up to six. Won't take long, I guarantee it. Oh, you gotta get the right level range in here. We are now level 20. We wanna get this to 25, because if you go higher, it'll impact the experience of your Slayer bonus that you're gonna get. And while you're waiting, uh, you could like drink pots to get ready for the um, endless slayers but um do it right when you know you're gonna start the slayer uh grim experience because otherwise you'll waste your time 
and your money. Okay, so let's move this to the party chat. And just wait at this point. I don't know how to pause this video, so um, yeah. I'll pretty much end it here then. Um, well, maybe I'll let you guys see the little bit of the uh, beginning and the, uh, the party um, as they come through and some of the mistakes that can happen. You want to warn them as they approach not to kill the, uh, uh, the red name boss wizard. Otherwise, all your work is for naught. And uh, some of the other th issues that can come up are you'll get like five or six joining at once and they'll all come into the forest at once, which means the monsters coming out of the portal will grow vastly uh, in number for one person to handle until the rest of the group gets there. It's, it's, it's pretty difficult to... Uh, keep the wizard away and field like 20 monsters or 12, whatever come up, comes out of that portal at once. Yeah, this is pretty much how I phrase the ad here every time and it works pretty well. Competition is just King's Forest Chain, which are the quests there, and Orchard Slayers, which is a much higher level quest. So those will be more attractive to the higher up members. Yeah, we might have to end this video, you guys. Uh, it took about, what, about 15 minutes to find that and nail down everything to uh, await a group uh, so this was actually the one of the faster times I've ever had and that's it but yeah those those are the proc spots basically um, like I said on the map I went too far west there's two spots like one here and one here It's actually like here, maybe here and here, a little bit southwest of this temple. How are the other two spots? Remember, there's two up here, two around here, and then the rest are in this brownish area down by the Underdark entrance. And that's Grim Disturbance, so I'm just going to enjoy collecting experience at this point. Take care.